Good morning. Let's fly to Australia. hasn't sunk in like I'm literally leaving today but because I've got plans for Singapore like all I can think about is like Singapore at this moment and I think maybe because I've not like been to Australia before um whereas like Singapore I've been to so many times that's just like all I'm thinking about because it's familiar but like it just doesn't feel real that in well, <laughs> over 24 hours, I'm gonna be in Australia and like, I'm gonna be surrounded by Australians. I'm gonna, like the Aussie accent is gonna be the normal thing that there is. Like, I just, yeah, I can't believe it. Also like, it's kind of weird because I met someone in Bali last year uh, back in June, um, I met him in Mexico, like on a night out, and obviously like got on really well and stuff, and we've stayed in touch, so we've been like FaceTiming and things like that, um, and he lives in Sydney, so I don't know if I'll actually end up seeing him or not, we'll see, I'll probably won't really speak much but I might even edit this bit out so um who knows but yeah so yeah anyway one of my friends from well she lives in the UK but she, I actually met her in Bali last year as well um she has moved to Sydney last week or the week before so she is uh, one of the girls that I'm going to the island with and I'm very excited. It's gonna be really fun to see her. Um, and yeah, like, I feel like I know I'm gonna be super tired from the journey, but because I didn't, because I don't have work tonight, uh, tomorrow night, I was like, I really wanna do something because it's like my first day, my first night in Sydney. I don't have work. And I'm also very excited for today. I freaking love Singapore so much. Like it's one of my favorite places. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to go back. Jack had changed it so I had to pay by cash so then we had to drive around and try and find an ATM nightmare but anyway I'm here now made it to H&M and I bought a really cute dress for tomorrow which I'm excited to wear um, and I bought some sandals, which I desperately needed because mine broke. And now I'm just walking to Boat Quay to meet my friend and I'm gasping for a bit. drunk but it's all good. Picked up my bag and I have 
50 minutes till boarding. So, gotta go through security in a second. Then I need to get changed. And yeah, be on my way to Sydney. I just freaked out because I couldn't see Sydney on the, on the board. And then I realised I was looking at a ruffles, not, not departures, so yeah. I've made it. I'm in Australia. I can't believe I'm here. It actually doesn't feel real. Um, I've just checked into my accommodation. It's so nice. I'm staying in a hostel, but I have a private room, so um, I'll give you a little quick spin around because it's not very big anyway. So this is my room with the bed, and then through here I've got like a little fridge, some cupboard space, which is actually quite handy. Yeah, and then, uh, and then I've got a really nice view actually out of my window. But yeah, I need to be quick because I'm meeting my friend and we're going for a, like a boat party. So I'm just gonna freshen up quickly and get going. Luckily I managed to sleep like basically the entire flight. So from Singapore to Sydney, it was eight hours. Um, and I managed to sleep for like the entire thing. So that was great because I was a bit worried about how I'd power through. Uh, boat party today but um yeah I'm so happy to be here doesn't feel real like when I got off the plane and heard an Aussie accent like straight away I was like oh my god um but yeah welcome to Australia